what I was asked to talk about today is a relatively new solution that Axon just released in late April of this year that we're calling Draft One. Um, and it essentially, it is, a, there's been a number of articles about it. One came out recently in Politico. Um, it is a police report narrative assistant tool uh, that utilizes the, the audio from body-worn camera video to create what is actually a, a first draft. It is not a final draft. It is uh, the very first uh, draft within a multiple of, of stages that we would anticipate that any police agency would utilize for. Um, and I'm very uh, happy to hear a lot of the sort of recommendations and policies that have, that have been discussed so far uh, on this call, as well as a number of other meetings that I've been with uh, recently. And uh, before I get too deep into this, I do want to sort of echo a couple of things uh, that, that Rick and a few other uh, folks have said in that I think it is very critical to create policy first for any new AI tool, particularly a generative AI tool. Uh, and like we were just discussing, that also includes uh, training and compliance considerations uh, for any tool that uh, that is being used. Um, so, uh, like I said, uh, draft one is a is a tool that generates a first draft of a police narrative. When we first started looking at this, one of the things we realized that kind of like Sarah was saying earlier, with the advent of body worn camera that Axon and a number of other vendors are partially responsible for, that has created a massive amount of additional data that's there. And we were looking at how has not just you know body worn camera, but in car cameras and other things, how has that impacted uh, law enforcement, public safety, prosecution, and even uh, defense work as well? And the the we recognize that there's just so much work to be done. Um, and the, the hours in the day have, haven't improved. So we looked at what tools do we have? What do we have access to uh, in ways that we can help solve that problem and get through some of the tedious time consuming work in a way that is uh, responsible uh, and helpful for our law enforcement partners. Uh, the very first and foremost thing that we looked at, uh, like Axon looks at with everything that we do is an ethics first design of our development. Uh, we, uh, you know, yes, ChatGPT is out there and we have actually heard stories of uh, police officers putting the transcript of their body worn video into ChatGPT and say, write my report. Uh, that kind of terrifies me as a former prosecutor and it should terrify every uh, public safety official. Uh, out there as well. So we have a very robust ethics and equity advisory council that looks at everything that we develop uh, to determine, um, you know, are we developing something that not only is done in the in the right way for today, but is it done in the right way for, you know, tomorrow and next year uh, and down the road? <clears throat> Um, this isn't our first foray uh, into AI. We do have a you know, machine learning tool, uh, a redaction assistant that's been out there for a while. Obviously, we have our you know, sort of our AI search tools within our evidence management solution. We have our AI generated transcription, but draft one is, is kind of like you know, the, the newest and shiniest uh, thing that we've done. Ordinarily, I do a, a full on live demo because this is a pretty exciting product and it, and it works pretty cool. But because of time restrictions, I'm going to show you a, a four minute video that walks you through what the solution is and essentially how it works. It is a little bit of a marketing sizzle reel, um, but it, it shows you the steps that an officer will take and the safeguards and the guardrails that we've put in place in order to make sure that you know we don't have hallucinations that we don't have, that that the system isn't making something up so i'm going to do that real quick uh here and then uh then i will be right back The Axon ecosystem includes a growing number of solutions that are designed to protect life, preserve truth, and accelerate justice. Here at Axon, we are excited to bring you a new feature that will revolutionize the way your officers write their report narratives. The solution, Draft One. Let's start with a question. How much time do your officers spend writing reports? 
The data suggests that the average officer spends up to three hours per day on paperwork. Draft One reduces that time, in many cases cutting report writing time in half by automatically drafting police report narratives based on body-worn camera audio. Let's take a look at the workflow and the safeguards that we've put in place. The process begins in the field. A call for service has just concluded, and the officer closes out the recording of their body-worn camera. Immediately after the recording is stopped, the Axon body-worn camera will securely transmit the audio of the call for service up to Axon Evidence. When you arrive at your computer, you will then log into your Axon account. Click on Report Writer, and then click Draft 1. Since the audio of the incident has already uploaded from the field, Draft 1 is ready when you arrive, and it presents you with all the calls for service that you recorded in the past 24 hours. If you are writing a report for a call for service that occurred outside of the 24-hour window, you can search for it using the manual search option. Select the checkbox next to the proper call for service, and then select Continue. Next, Draft 1 will ask you to provide context surrounding the type of incident this was, the severity, and whether there was an arrest made. Selecting the Generate Draft button will cause Draft 1 to immediately begin analyzing the recorded incident. And while doing so, it will present the officer with safeguard number one, which is a reminder to check, correct, and sign off on the draft report that draft one is creating for them. The narrative is then generated, and as you will see, draft one generates a report that is written from the officer's perspective. It was like, there's a family here. They were like playing at the park, you okay. know, just being normal. And this guy just kept messing with them. Okay. Uh, he's like yelling at him stuff and like harassing him. All right, what's your name? Cool. Marcus. Okay, all right, Marcus, you have a good day, okay? Once the report has been fully generated, the officer will insert the text into the Axon Report Writer where the report can be edited. At first glance, you will notice a few more safeguards that we've instituted to ensure the report's accuracy. The Axon Artificial Intelligence model being used has been instructed to stick to the facts and only generate text based on what is confidently understood by the AI. For interactions that contain ambiguity, Draft 1 will request that the officer insert additional observations that he or she may have noticed. If the officer attempts to submit the report without addressing these requests for greater detail, Draft 1 will not move forward until these requests have been addressed. When they're ready to submit the report, the officer can easily insert it into Axon Records or copy the report to the clipboard to place it inside a third-party RMS. However, before proceeding further, Draft 1 will present the officer with an agency-customized disclaimer that requires the officer's digital signature. By providing this signature, the officer is attesting to the accuracy of the report, all of which is documented in Axon's audit trail. In summary, Draft 1 drastically reduces the time your officers are spending writing reports. It's an incredible force multiplier that enables you to get more out of your existing workforce while boosting morale. Not only that, but Draft 1 will also standardize the format of your reports and improve the overall quality of the reports being created by your agency. For more information or to activate Draft 1, please contact your Axon representative. You have two minutes remaining. All right, perfect. Um, <laughs> so um, just a couple of additional things that that I wanted to you know sort sort of mention here. You know, uh, in in the video we talked about sort of the um, uh, you know the the safeguards that are out there, and one of the things that got kind of glossed over in that is you, you saw there were the check boxes for the type of incident and whether it's a felony, misdemeanor, you know, sort of categorization of categorization of the interaction as well as whether an arrest was made. Uh, one of the reasons for that is that we want agencies essentially to take a qual crawl, walk, run approach to this, make sure that they are comfortable with the results and that their officers are using this in a responsible way. So out of the box or, you know, sort of as, as it's initially turned on, anything that's a felony or anything that's an arrest is not permitted to be used with, uh, a draft one is not permitted to be used on those doesn't mean that we're not confident that it will create good reports for those we are, but we want that to be an affirmative uh, conscious decision on the part of the agency. And what we've seen in agencies that have uh, sort of implemented this at this point is that they do tend to start with, 
you know, non-arrests, misdemeanors, or, or you know, non-criminal actions, and then sort of move on from there. I think there are a couple of agencies that are using them for nearly everything, but for the most part, they're starting off uh, relatively, uh, relatively low. So a uh, couple of other quick things just to sort of hit on some of the highlights that we've talked about so far in this uh, meeting is all of this is contained within your your environment with or the agency's environment apologies within evidence.com within the axon network that is on microsoft azure in the cgis compliant uh cloud environment none of the data goes outside to the general public none of that data none of the actual information comes to axon either we don't utilize any of your data to sort of further train our model uh, we do have options for agencies to opt into it, but for the most part, they're not. Um, and um, the other last thing that I wanted to point out in my limited time here is that the draft one is not doing any image or video analysis. It is only working off of the transcript that is contained within the body-worn camera. Uh, so if the officer pulls over a red car, but there's no discussion of that uh, in, within the transcript. There's going to be no indication that there is a red car anywhere in that environment. The officer will have to go in within those insert statements to add that detail and then final, finally acknowledge that and sign off of that with, uh, with an e-signature. Um, I know I'm really short on time, so I do want to again reiterate that we think it is very important that we have policies in place, policy training and compliance in place for any generative AI use within a law enforcement agency or prosecution offices. Um, I've been working pretty much nonstop over the last six months or so, uh, working with prosecutors offices around the country whose law enforcement agencies uh, have expressed an interest in adopting uh, draft one. In fact, that's something our sales team has basically put out to all of our law enforcement reps that uh, you shouldn't be turning this on for any of our law enforcement customers until they have engaged their prosecutor and the prosecutor's comfortable with it. Even on a trial basis, uh, you might have um, reports that are going to end up in cases that end up in trial. Also, because this is a relatively uh, nuanced uh, thing, and like say, normally this is an hour discussion followed up with you know another hour or so of uh, questions. Uh, here's my contact information, brent at axon.com. I think I've spoken to a number of y'all that are on the call. I would be more than happy uh, to give a fuller, deeper, broader uh, demo of the solution. Uh, also talk to any of your law enforcement agencies who might have questions about it and answer any questions that you've got. I have a number of different resources here. I will put these links in the chat. Uh, they have the product page. We've got some FAQs for prosecutors. And another thing that we're pretty proud of is we had a double blind study done uh, that tested the accuracy, quality, and bias of reports that were written by officers alone, and then those that were written with the assistance of draft one. Um, I'll put that into the chat, and also I'm happy to provide that to anybody if you have any questions. The one caveat I like to say about that study is Axon paid for the study, but we did not pay for the result. 